Hi, my name is Grant Hobson. I work as a finance analyst. Uh, today I'm going to talk you through some business maths uh, calculations and ratios. How to calculate compound interest. Compound interest is uh, the money that you make from a principal investment and then any interest on that principal. So it's useful to, for somebody who reinvests their interest that they've made on their original investment. Um, over time, you'll make more money using compound interest than a simple interest rate. And we'll just look through some calculations now to demonstrate that. So to compare the compound interest um, to the simple interest and see how compounding generates more money, we'll calculate the simple interest first. So if we take the formula m equals p multiplied by one plus i to the power of n, where m is your final amount including principal, p is your principal amount, i is the interest rate per year and n is the number of years invested. So if we take in this example that you're investing two and a half thousand pound for five years at 5.8%, that calculates through at a simple interest of £3,506. Now the 1.058 is simply the 1 plus the interest rate, so 1 plus 0.058. So now we'll compare that to the compound interest using the same figures. The formula for compounding is A equals P multiplied by 1 plus R over N to the power of NT. So the additions we have in this formula now is to take into account for the compounding where n is the number of times the interest is compounded per year. So it might be compounded monthly or quarterly um, or daily, for example. So in this example, I'm going to invest my £2,500 for five years at the same rate of 5.8%, but I'm going to compound quarterly, so four times through the year. If we look down here, this section of the formula is the 1 plus R over N section. So in this section of the formula, we're looking to at the 1 plus r over n, which is simply 1 plus the 0.058 divided by 4. So r is the 5.8% interest and the 4 is the quarterly compounding. So that comes through at 1.0145. We've then got the £2,500 investment and this generates £3,532. So within this formula, at the end, we have to take into account the n multiplied by t. So the number of times interest is compounded times by the number of years. So in the formula, we do four to the power to the power of four times by six, which gets us the three five three two. You'll see the difference between the two. It's Twenty six pounds.